What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Yeah, I think that's good. think he was visible at all, but okay. <laughs> Consider the time you spend in cars. Short trips, long journeys, traffic jams. What happens to the myriad random thoughts you have as you gaze out of the window? The ideas that combust and tick over in your internal suggestion engine, your subconscious. Well, ideas are energy, and energy never dies. They motor skyward into the Imagosphere, revved up with Are We There Yet? anticipation. Melded together, they form an escape route paved with exhilarating opportunities, an ever-expanding arena of challenges with rewards beyond any earthly aspiration. It's a boulevard of woken dreams, a reality built on fantasy. A place you can put your imagination pedal to the metal in a contest of camaraderie and creativity. Sackfolk, start your cerebral engines, for this is Little Big Planet Karting. The Imagosphere is the energy that binds Little Big Planet and all its moons and satellites together. A force so powerful, even the Negativitron could not bend, crack, or deplete it. But it needs a guardian. It needs a caretaker. It needs youth. A dyed-in-the-wool little big planitian, an adventurer, a stern, focused, enigmatic hero. Uh-oh. There he Little Big Planet is once again under threat. This time, from the greedy, grabbing Horde. The Horde scavenge and collect prizes, materials, and objects, but never use these treasures to create and share. All they want to do is keep, to stash, to hoard. No, sack friend. Your little legs may be perfectly knitted, but even they are no match for the Horde and their rag and bone racers. This is a battle to be fought in a different arena. A racetrack. You need some wheels, my child. Aha! Uh -huh. Commandeer that cart and make it your own. Quickly, young sackling, put the pedal to the metal. We know you'll take this mission seriously. Semi-seriously? <sighs> oh, crikey. Um, anyone for driving lessons? The greedy, grabby horde are a simple bunch, so driving one of their commandeered carts isn't going to be a prop for a clever clog like you. You just need to be shown the basics, and you'll be away faster than a cowpat off a hot, shiny shovel. Quick tour of the controller would be good. Ooh, would you prefer to use the X button or the R2 button to accelerate? Okay, the basics. Press the acceleration button, and your cart will move forward. Keep it down if you want to burn wool. You can achieve some pretty exhilarating speeds in this game, so let go of the button if you want to slow down for a corner or stop altogether. The 
brake button will stop you even quicker if you need a new brake. Once you've stopped, keep that brake button held down if you want to reverse. Steering is done by pushing the left stick left or right. Or well, I'm pretty sure I already figured that one out. Buttons. Well, if you are happy with the ergonomic comfort of your controller layout, just give the old action button a sammy stab and it's all confirmed. Excellent. You've picked your preferred controller buttons and we can continue. And if you want to go back and alter them at any stage, feel free to do so in the pause menu or the settings menu in your pod. You have to feel 100% comfortable when you're wacky racing. Am I not right, sir? In karting lingo, Drifting means taking a corner in a really cool way. It's skidding, but controlled skidding, and saves all the hassle of braking. To drift, steer the way you want to go in a corner whilst pressing and holding the drift button. The cart turns to the side and skids in a visually pleasing manner, I might add. It's advisable to hold your drift until your tires ignite. That's a good time to release the drift button and get a satisfying boost. You get my drift? Ha! <laughs> that was pretty funny. Get my drift. <laughs> oh, that was the best joke I think I've heard all day. While accelerating and steering. You're nearly there with this drifting malarkey. Hold, drift, release. You see, that was a superb bit of drifting. Both excellent and excellent. The boost you get is from the positive thinking molecules of the Imagosphere igniting in the drift backdraft. The bigger the flame, the bigger the boost. Now, who wants to know how to steer and drift at the same time? Hmm? You can drift this entire thing, that's You're awesome. Brilliantly with the drifting, now to drift. Yeah, I already figured that out. Okay, let's try this drift and steer business. Nailed it! Knew you would. Now you're equipped with another string to your bow. Well, you passed your driving test with all the flying colors of the rainbow. Time to start your weapons training. No, we're not getting bogged down in the logistics of ballistics. We're simply going to show you how to blast suckers off the road. Behold the Weaponator. A serious bit of kit. Drive through it to pick it up. Then you can start collecting weapons. Each time you get one, Sackboy will be holding it, looking tougher than nine-year-old cheese and twice as dangerous. <laughs> okay. Oh, nicely collected there, number one. You are now first Two words. Or some like your style. Now, let's talk about how to make every shot count. Taking a hit will slow you down and make you lose slight control of your cart, so avoid it if you can. Now we're going to give you what we call a defensive weapon. Defensive weapons are slightly sneaky in that they can be deployed behind you to slow down other racers or destroy incoming weapons fire. If you watch for the incoming weapon icon, you'll see it changes into a shield. This is the exact time to press the weapon button and deploy your defensive weapon. When the icon shows a shield, the defensive weapon will fire backwards to intercept the barrage from the brutes behind. cylinders you clever sack bombardier you uh, just remember once you have a weapon you can make use of it straight away or save it for a more dire situation you can set the difficulty level of your game you know normal is your bog standard threat and hurdle setting and is nothing you can't handle but if you're of a mind to sunday drive with very little to do set it to casual yeah, definitely gonna go casual. Congrats! Some lazy as fuck. What the heck? Congratulations! Have the full lot. 
You've learned so much in such a short time. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were an android. And if you ever forget anything or you want a quick recap, get your sack tushy back here and we'll do the whole bally lot again. I would love that. All right, nice. This looks like it's going to be fun. So yeah, definitely excited to uh, be playing Little Big Planet karting for the first time. Seemed like it would be a fun game, so I figure, what the hell, you know? Your pod really is the business end of a rattling good idea. Use the controller to access your pod computer. Then you can choose games or locate your sack chums. The menu button is your car key, if you like. Tap it to begin the adventure. Little Big Planet Karting is all about fun, frolics, prizes, and happy challenges. But there are other hands at work here right now. Greedy, grabby hands that would pluck the colors from a rainbow or the sun from a summer's day and never give them back. At first, this threat was a mild peril, a bothersome subplot to our happy story. But if something isn't done, and soon, it'll become a tragic saga. We need a hero, a champion in a cart, and we're looking in your direction. Press the action button to jump into story mode. Your me is your very own, the very, uh, the very ethos of Little Big Planet is create and share. Hmm. I guess I have to do story because I don't have any tracks unlocked or anything, so. Okay. Let the sack race begin, as it's time. Let the sack race begin, as it's time for your first foray into imagic karting. There are mild perils to be faced in the shape of those pesky hoarders, scoundrels to a man. They cause a fuss. All right, finally going to be hopping into a race here. Hopefully, I can kick some ass. Or die trying, whatever the hell happens first. <laughs> yeah, if nothing else, this game definitely does have an interesting art style.
All right, let's do it. That's cool that I have teammates, though. Well, I just got fucked. I haven't even seen a single item yet. Wish I could get an item so I could start fucking these guys up. Damn it, I just missed. That one was totally my own fucking fault. Shit. Yeah, they keep stealing the items before I have a chance to grab them. It's fucking annoying. Here we go. Fuck this does. able to win. I was looking a little iffy at the beginning there, but I pulled through because I'm fucking amazing. Alright. Well, guys, that'll do it for my first race, so I'll see you all next time. Peace out.